morning, Hank. It's supposed to be Monday. But in fact, it's Saturday. <laughs> Hank, that's Tobin Anderson, world-famous children's book author and winner of the 2006 National Book Award. This is the guide. What's going on? Some quick background information. Before Tobin and I met up at a book festival in Kalamazoo, Tobin spent a day in Detroit looking at abandoned buildings, where he randomly met our tour guide. When we tried to fly back to the east on Friday, our flights got cancelled, so we called the guide up and he offered to take us on an urban exploring tour through the ruins of Detroit. As you will see, the guide is something of a genius. He made a building that could be seen from you know, miles away, that made an impression on people that didn't just blend in, it stuck out. Hank, that's the Eastern Wig and Hair Company. We're gonna go in it, I think, but not not in the traditional way. Okay, so that didn't work, Hank, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the owner of the building happened to drive by while Tobin was pulling down the fire escape. Hank, I'm in an abandoned building. I'm feeling some anxiety. On the question of abandonment? Yes. I wonder why there are so many lights on. That means it could be a caretaker, you know, they could come on and check on it. I mean, not every day. Hank, I think it goes without saying that you shouldn't break into abandoned buildings, particularly not unless you have professional assistance like we did. It's unsafe, asbestos -y, terrifying, and generally illegal. Is it a happy place, Tobin? Does it feel safe? No, because there are holes at that end of the floor. Oh shit! <laughs> Tobin, someone in here has played repeated games of tic-tac-toe. I mean, clearly the uh, O's have mad skills. We heard people walking around, we heard people talking, we had to flee. You can tell <laughs> John, John's anxiety from the fact that the camera is shuddering like a, like a dove giving birth. Okay, we're now entering the United Artists Theater designed by C. Howard Crane in a Spanish Gothic style. We're currently in the lobby. I'm using the camera light to see where I'm going. Everything is covered in ice. Yeah. It's just layers and layers of rubble. Hank, once I got past the anxiety of being someplace I shouldn't be, I started to think about the ruins themselves, the eerie beauty of the ice-encrusted decay. To the tour guide, the ruins seemed to represent a failure, a failure to recognize and use the gifts of the past. To Tobin, they also spoke of the inevitability of it all, this stark reminder that one day, every building will be ruins. I felt a mix of anxiety and reverence that I haven't felt since I worked at the hospital. I kept slipping up and calling it the cathedral instead of the theater. I'm on the stage what? now. Dear dear solve it cyclone in favela, David cum sabila. National Geographic from 1968. Iran's Shah crowns himself in glittering Tehran. It was a very different time. Now pull it back open. Do the same thing. It's heavy, huh? Yeah. Look at all these safe deposit boxes. Go to the troll hole. All right, first we have to go through the troll hole again. I think we just came through a hole in that fence. We went into that theater, and then into this office building. I think this is what the theater used to look like that we were in today. That's decayed beyond recognition for the most part. Hey Hank, tell me if this place looks familiar. 